Hi, welcome or welcome back. My name is Taylor and today I want to show you how I go from curly to straight at home. Sort of my salon quality wash and press. <laughs> um, I don't use a lot of products, but I'm going to share my techniques and the items that I do use to achieve this. First, I'm gonna start off with prepping my hair, washing my hair. So I did talk about these in my curly hair favorites video, but I am still loving the Function of Beauty Curly Hair Formula Shampoo and Conditioner. When I'm washing my hair, prepping it for a straighten, I like to make sure that while I have the shampoo in my hair, I am cleansing my scalp, which means I am using the silicone scalp massager. This is super important for me. I like to make sure I can get as much of that buildup off of my scalp as possible. If not, it will show up in the style itself. It, my hair will be weighed down. It'll kind of show up as oil. It will show in the movement in the body of the style as well. So very important, I like to make sure that my scalp is as clean as possible. So I do want to say that this is an instant of doing as I say, not as I do. You should be using heat protectant. <laughs> At this step right here, you should be using heat protectant. I unfortunately did run out and I didn't realize before I started to film this video. My favorite is Hot Toddy by Dry Bar. I will link it down below. Please, please, please make sure you're protecting your hair. Do not be like me. I know that I will be okay, but do not be like me. <laughs> For a blow dryer, I use the Dyson and I'll use this comb attachment or I'll use the Revlon blow dryer brush. Mine is pretty beat up and I kind of feel like when I use this, I can almost smell my hair frying. So I will go in with the Dyson. Sometimes I'll use both. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. If I am using the Dyson alone, I do use either a round brush or a paddle brush or them in unison as well as the comb attachment to really make sure I'm stretching out those curls. Personally for me, the blow drying is the key to having a successful press, silk press or whatever at home. I like to use alligator clips when I'm sectioning off my hair. It helps with organization of the hair and really keeping it out of your face. You can pick these up again anywhere, TJ Maxx, Target. My flat iron is just one of those generic flat irons you get from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This one did come with a mini. I believe I got rid of it because it just didn't do anything for my hair. But it was like 40 bucks. It's super old, could probably be replaced, but it still works. So we're still here together. <laughs> I will link something similar to this below. So I either go in with a rat tooth comb or a small tooth comb because I like to do the follow method where the comb kind of leads the flat iron down. This way I am ensuring that as many strands as possible are getting straightened. Again, this is gonna add to the overall movement and body of the hair.
Once I work my way up to the crown and these sort of front pieces, I like to straighten them upward. It gives them sort of the ability to have their own rules. If I part my hair and I straighten it off to the side, then my hair kind of just wants to live on the side that it was parted to. This way I can kind of flip it and there's, there's just no rules this way. <laughs> And now that my hair is all straightened, I like to go in with some sort of shine serum. Right now I'm using Bio Soak. A little bit goes a long way. Tonight I'm gonna wrap my hair in in the morning. All I have to do is comb it out and I'm, I'll be good. The style should last about a week, but sometimes my scalp gets dry, so we'll see. <laughs> all right, so I'm all done. Here is the finished product. Please like and subscribe, maybe share with a friend. I'll see you next week. Next week I'm gonna be rewriting back to the curls and kind of giving some tips to make sure my hair is nice, nice and moisturized after being straightened for a week. <laughs>